Lil' Kim went to jail for not snitching. Give you that one more again. Not snitching for doing what your mama told you to do. Didn't your mama ever say, stop tattletaling all the motherfucking time? Look, don't nobody like a tattletale. That's what the fuck she went to prison for. Meanwhile, Michael Jackson is freed in a motherfucker smelling like little boy's booty holes, and I'm supposed to be excited. Fuck Michael, I know I'm supposed to be happy because he used to be black. I know, I know, I remember. Fuck that, Michael forgot he was a nigga. He forgot he was a nigga. He forgot he was a nigga. That it was us supporting him. We had that big ass, greasy ass, bell pepper ass nose. That was us. Didn't the motherfucker want to get white? And we kept giving the nigga chances and shit with the Villa Lago shit. You know that ain't no real goddamn shit. What nigga you know caught Villa Lago? It be a line as big as a motherfucker to catch Villa Lago. You mean I can get my credit rating up to 720 by catching this shit? <laughs> fuck Michael, fuck him, fuck him. I don't give a fuck how good you can sing and dance. I got babies, you nasty motherfucker. You can't play with little boys' booty holes. And some of y'all looking at me like, I can't believe you saying that. It's a setup. Fuck a setup. Don't nobody say the same shit about you for 20 goddamn years. What the fuck is you talking about? If a motherfucker call you a crackhead for 20 years, bitch, you are smoking crack. Whitney done smoked her kneecaps off, and we still talk about, uh-uh. Fuck Michael. He spent his whole life trying to be a white woman, his whole motherfucking life. Then as soon as a nigga get in trouble, now he wanna be surrounded by Muslims and shit. Michael, you ain't no motherfucking Muslim. You can't even be a Muslim. You got a white woman pork face. How you gonna be a Muslim? Half your face is pork, Michael. Fuck Michael, gonna get on TV and lie to us and tell us shit don't make no fucking sense. This nigga climbing up in trees and shit. Talking about, don't you climb trees? No, motherfucker, we got bills and shit. Take your Peter Pan ass and make some peanut butter or some shit. <laughs> Fuck Michael, telling niggas that done paid good money for him, telling us shit that don't make no goddamn sense. Talking about he put his nigga dick in a white woman and came out with two babies that ain't mixed. Who the fuck do you think you talking to, nigga? I'm a grown motherfucking man. You put a nigga dick in a white woman and got two blonde, blue-eyed babies? Nigga, fuck you. Fuck you. One of them babies' name is Blanket. You can't name no nigga baby Blanket. You can't name a nigga baby nothing soft. Not blanket, quilt, comfort, or none of that shit. <laughs> fuck Michael. We know what the fuck Michael doing. We been knowing how Michael was. If you don't believe me, tell me when's the last time Michael was in a relationship that you believed. <laughs> don't worry, I wait. <laughs> when was the last time you was like, Michael is fucking the shit out of that bitch? Not never. That motherfucker showing up to press conferences. He got Emmanuel Lewis sitting on his motherfucking lap. And we like, oh, that's cute. Forgetting the fact that Emmanuel Lewis was 26 motherfucking years old at the goddamn time. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. He just on the balcony picking little boys out. Just. I like him. Michael can't fucking lie to me. I'm a grown motherfucking man. I love bitches. That's my shit. I love bitches. So if you go to my house, there's certain shit at my house that ain't for me. It's for bitches. I got a regular bed with regular pillows, and I got two pillows with a silk cover on it. That's not for me. That's in case bitches want to come over there and they don't feel like wrapping their goddamn hair up. They ain't got to fuck up their perm fucking with a nigga. Because I love bitches. That's my shit. If you go to my house, it's Alizé at my house. I don't drink no motherfucking Alizé, but bitches do. And when they come over there, I want them to feel comfortable. Now, what the fuck would Michael need at his house if he was trying to make little boys feel comfortable? I don't know, a goddamn amusement park, some motherfucking animals, some video games, some free candy. You notice all the kids on trial was the same. They was all either sick or slow or used to have cancer or couldn't speak English good. You notice it wasn't no little nigga kids on trial. You notice that, didn't you? You know why? Because it's hard to fuck a nigga child. That's why. I could take my son to Neverland Ranch right now. I bet you Michael can't fuck him. My son will be sitting in the driveway like, uh-uh, Mr. Jackson. I thought we was going to Lil Bow Wow's house. I finna call my daddy. I am a boy, Damon. You finna get it. You finna get it. Y'all been all that. I appreciate the time. God bless you.